Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I almost didn't do an episode on gratitude. And why? Because it became like the thing in cancer treatment and survival. Gratitude, 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 gratitude. Now, I am a very grateful person and I have a gratitude practice, but I feel like there are trends and waves that we go through in being cancer patients and survivors. And for a time, everything was about meditation, 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 meditation. If you didn't meditate as a cancer patient, you weren't with it, hip, in the know, gonna survive. (laughs) It was like insane. And then we went through this wave of gratitude. If you weren't grateful, doing gratitude journals, you weren't going to survive. Like it, it just happens this, this way. I've been doing this for several decades now, living and beating stage four cancer. So as a survivor for so many decades, you really see what comes in and out of vogue in cancer treatment and survival. So I wasn't going to do an episode on this at all until Leah came into my life. And you may have heard an episode that I did with Leah on visualization. It's a really cool episode where she talks about her experience and then I give a very comprehensive visualization practice that I do, and I share it with you. This was part two of my conversation with Leah, a woman that I never met, but just showed up in a Zoom room one night after I'd finished teaching. And I really thought, okay, there's no accident that after midnight, this woman appears in my Zoom waiting room when the program was already over. So let me see what she has to tell me. And so I want to present to you a little clip from Leah, her talking about the most minute aspects of gratitude. And then I'll talk more broadly about gratitude because I do think the science is compelling and I do think you should know it. And I also want to share with you how I use gratitude in my own life, in my own treatment, in my own survival, and also just what I teach. So here is Leah. So when I took the positive thinking classes, the teacher told me have a notebook to write all your positive blessings, all your all the good things that happen to you every single day, write them down and focus on the positive. So that was hard to to me. At the beginning, it was a little hard because, you know, after a couple of days, you keep repeating yourself. But it could really be a small thing, like a friend brought me supper. Really small things that you usually would not, you kind of would, I guess, take for granted. But the little things like my son went to bed happy today and he didn't, you know, put a, a tantrum or it makes you, notice the little things that you usually would not notice. Like my family came to visit me, you know, my sister brought me cookies. Like it's just simple things, but it it makes a difference for you, you know. So I just want to thank Leah for letting me use two of her clips in Beating Cancer Daily. I really enjoyed meeting her and hearing her perspective on visualization and gratitude. Now I want to let you know if you want to record your thoughts on a topic or you want to suggest a topic, go to the Comedy Cures website and hit the record button and make sure that 
you're in a quiet place when you record to me and let me know if you want just me to hear your recording or I have your permission to play it as part of the podcast. Now, in terms of gratitude, I've read some really interesting things about the effect of gratitude on the mind, body, and spirit. And it is believed that practicing gratitude can lead to more intimate and connected relationships, less depression, more motivation and engagement, and better overall well-being. I'm just curious, does gratitude come easily for you? Do you find yourself never being satisfied so that if you acquire something or you achieve something, you're always looking to the next thing? I'm just curious, like how effortless is being grateful for you? Or is this something that you really have to work at? I personally had to start a practice of gratitude to really go deep down into finding everything is a blessing because it's hard when you're sitting in a chemo chair and you've lost your hair, you're bald, you're throwing up, you have to have body parts removed and all different surgeries and your quality of life has been ripped out from under you to feel like, oh, I'm really grateful for all of this. So I really became a student of being grateful and gratitude so that All these things that I had to go through in my cancer treatment didn't rock me. And you know what? I have to tell you, it actually worked. And to this day, I do a gratitude prayer every morning when I wake up. And it's the first thing I've trained myself to do. And that is to be grateful that I've been given another day on this earth. Now, they say how you start your day is a great predictor of how your day will go. So if I've trained myself to have my first waking thought be that I'm grateful for being given another day, then what I'm stopping from rushing in is any fear about having cancer or having a reoccurrence of cancer. And I'm also pushing out any kind of anxiety or anger or fatigue. So for me, it was a great way to rig the deck that I have a great day. Another way to be grateful is to really think and listen for the needs of other people. If you are really hearing other people's needs and you are practicing kindness and selflessness and a giving nature, it's another way to express gratitude. There are also practices like meditation or mindfulness that help you switch off all the chatter in your brain and actually be very still. And in that stillness, arises gratitude. Now, some people say when I meditate, I think of a thousand things and it makes me very anxious. Well, what I found is if I do meditation in small, frequent steps, eventually the meditation and the mindfulness went out against the discursive, chattery mind and the anxiety On an article by NeuroHealth Associates, they wrote that neuroscience reveals gratitude literally rewires your brain to be happier. And they actually talked about a study from the University of California at Davis, where they divided subjects into three groups. One that kept a journal of things that happened during the week, which they were grateful for. And another wrote down daily irritations or events that displeased them. The third group was asked to write down daily situations and events with no emphasis on either positive or negative emotional attachment. Here's what happened at the end of 10 weeks. 
The gratitude group reported feeling more optimistic and positive about their lives than any other groups. In addition, the gratitude group was more physically active and reported fewer visits to a doctor than those who wrote about only their negative experiences. So there's a lot of science, which I'm not going to go into, but that has come out for why practicing gratitude is really good for us. And a lot of this relies on gratitude journals. Now, Leah referred to her journal where she wrote down even the most small, basic thing that she was grateful for. I know a lot of people wait for those big, big moments. But what I loved with Leah was that she found the smallest moments to be grateful for. Now, besides the journal, expressing thank you, gratitude, appreciation to people in your life on a regular basis throughout the day can really help you feel more grateful. So again, micro moments with a partner or a colleague or a doctor or a nurse, just really appreciating the smallest thing and verbalizing it out loud to that person. Reader's Digest actually has a posting of thank you memes that all are visual And they all have funny images to go along with thanking people. So they'll have a snake and it says, just slithering by to say thank you. Or they have a bunch of bananas and it says, thank you a bunch. Or thank you a million and like a million dollars flying in the frame of the picture. So if you're looking for a visual way just to thank someone, run over to rd.com for Reader's Digest and look for their funny thank you memes. So I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day filled with gratitude and filled with joy. And if you think of any good ways that I can express gratitude or to think about gratitude differently, just go to the comedycures.org website, hit the record button. And if you want to record a message to me and you want me to consider playing it on the podcast, let me know if it's just for me, let me know that too, or write me a note through the contact button and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit. 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair April 1999 and we've been going strong ever since so please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive thanks so much see you tomorrow guess what time it is it's time for me to read the disclaimer Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.